Michael W. So what does everyone think about the Lizzie and Kai deal? Does anyone know if it's true? Now, I don't know if it's true or not. I made my video on Friday saying I think there's a slight chance it might be, you know, fake for TV. But so many people got mad just at the fact that I spoke about it in the first place. A lot of people got mad that I was saying it might be fake. But for the most part, people were getting mad that I was even speaking on the topic to begin with. Like, that's their own personal lives. Why would you ever talk about that in a video or something like that? And I'm just sitting there thinking, I'm like, time out. You're getting mad at me for talking about this ordeal in a video on my channel on social media. Now, let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture here. On Street Outlaws, we've had multiple instances where there's relationship issues, off-camera drama, family drama with drivers on this show. Arguably, the two biggest names in Street Outlaws have both had something along the lines of that. But both of those drivers and pretty much most of the other ones that have had stuff like this on Street Outlaws have always made an effort to keep it off social media. They weren't replying to their comments, telling people the ordeal or saying what was going on. They weren't making posts about it. They weren't making videos about it. They didn't address it in the slightest bit on social media. Not even like a single post, comment, reply, nothing. They didn't talk about it at all on social media. And as a result of that, I respected that. And I never spoke about any of that stuff on my videos. Never go back to all of my videos. This past episode of Street Talk was the first time I ever made a video talking about something like this in the history of my channel in the eight years I've been making these videos. But this week I made the exception. Why did I make the exception? Because they have put this out there on social media. They've made zero efforts to have this be some off-camera ordeal. Look at when Kai proposed to Lizzie. It was on an episode of Street Outlaws. And every Street Outlaws social media page congratulated them in a post they made when it happened in real time and also when it aired on TV. Then once it comes to the time when, are they leaving each other? What's going on with this? They're going to social media to explain what's going on. If they didn't want other people talking about this, they shouldn't be putting it on social media to begin with. So to all the people that are getting mad at me for talking about it, you guys got it. Might have to go to the doctors and get your brains checked because, like, if they like, imagine Kai and Lizzie are potentially like, say, they break up, they leave each other. Oh my gosh. If they didn't want other people talking about it, or if it was a legitimate, serious, big deal to them, they wouldn't be posting about it on social media saying, Oh, I didn't, I didn't know this is how you felt. They'd be going in person or dealing with it on the phone off camera, away from the internet. But because of the fact that they're literally arguing with each other on Facebook, it's open game, open field, free for all. You can do whatever you want, talk about it however you want, in any way you want, because they are making zero efforts to withhold it from the public. And I know I might sound like I'm attacking them now, but so many people got so mad at me for making that video. And I'm like, they're the, it's not like I'm digging and finding inside information. I'm literally just reporting on what is public information and knowledge. And people are getting mad and upset. I guess, yeah, people might be extra mad because I said it might be fake. But once again, like, why would they put it out there on social media? Unless they're like, it's literally middle school lunch table relationship drama. If that's the level of relationship Kai and Lizzie have, it's middle school lunch table stuff. If that's the level it is at, then, I mean, I, I don't even know what to say at that point. Because if it wasn't, it wouldn't be on social media. If it isn't something for TV, why is it on social media? And then if it is supposed to be a real breakup, a real relationship, and it is on social media, then the level of that relationship in the first place was like two eighth graders or sixth graders hugging each other at the lunch table. And then one of them called the other one fat. And then it's all breaking down and falling apart. That's the level of relationship that was. And the fact that people are getting upset about it in the first place is just mind blowing and baffling. It's a whole it's all, it's ridiculous. It, I, I'm, I'm ranting now. I got to stop. I got to stop. The, the reason why I talked about it is because it's not a private thing. It's not their own personal business because they are the ones putting it out there on social media. It's their own fault. 